Well, the first part of Tower Blitz's giant update has finally been released, and with that comes the full version of the Cold Construct event. And now that the event is fully released and the lore fully revealed, I feel it's time to make a full cohesive timeline of the entire Cold Construct war. This video will be quite long, so get comfortable, because today we will dive into the lore of Tower Blitz. But before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 5k subs by the end of the month, and it would be quite funny if you did. Anyways, let's get right into that lore. So, how did the Cold Construct War start? Well, while there's not a super definitive answer, we do know that the Constructs were our old allies during the wars against the ISC and X-Faction. However, for some unknown reason, they have turned against the Defenders. This is due to the resurgence of Glacius, a former member of the X-Council, who went rogue from the X-Faction and presumably, and presumably took many of the Constructs with him. I don't know if the Constructs are the same as the X-Faction's robots, although they share some similar qualities. The Constructs can very easily mimic human traditions and folklore, as seen in chapters 1 and 2. They can also augment themselves and change shape, size, or even material to suit whatever they are mimicking. This is most especially shown with the winter constructs such as the gingerbread or the ornaments. Anyways, after the successful defense of Sub-Zero Dam from a Diminisher attack, the defenders move on to the defense of a festive Christmas town, during which they are met with an even larger show of the constructs' mimicry abilities with the introduction of the Mechanical Bugler, as well as the Combustor, a crude recreation of Santa Claus made that was made to quote, break through fortresses and melt defenses. After defeating the Combustor, the defense turns into an attack, as the defenders go to attack the Holy City. I have no idea how they got there, but whatever. The Holy City is home to a large number of constructs who seem to have been long disconnected from the rest, as they show more free will compared to the rest. The Constructs here follow the Arbiter, who I theorize is a rogue Construct leader who became more interested in becoming powerful, as his description mentions his power rivaling that of the Robotic Overseer and nearly being as powerful as the Overlord himself. This also proves that the Code Construct War canonically happens after the Overlord's defeat. Not a huge deal, but a good thing to know when concerning the larger timeline of TBZ. After the Arbiter's defeat, the Defenders are forced to retreat to their final fortification, where Glacius sends the full might of the remaining Constructs to breach the facility. Here, we learn that the remaining Holy Constructs use the last of their materials to remake the Arbiter in a more robotic fashion, as well as create their own flagship, the Nexus. However, both those and Glacius himself are ultimately defeated. So to summarize, what happened here? Well, sometime in the past, Glacius split from the X-Faction, took the Constructs with him, invaded and took Avaria, took hold of the Winter Constructs, and waged war against the Defenders, and then got defeated. It's unknown whether the Constructs will appear again, but if they do, let's hope we are ready for them. But anyways, that's all I've got for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around, because I have some more Tower Blitz related content coming out in the future, as well as other things. So, uh, once again, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.